Rick B's Daily Vlogs. Standing here in the Marina District and a 360 view of where I'm standing on top of. It's a nice view of San Francisco. And be careful. Do not approach or feed coyotes. Let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Yes, I missed the vlog yesterday. Wasn't really feeling well, so decided to just go home, relax. That long trip, that long vacation, it does that to you. So that's exactly what happened, but I'm back. I'm doing a vlog that I missed during Statue Week here in the marina. So I decided better time to do it on a nice sunny day here in San Francisco. Let's check out the Philip Burton statue here in the marina. Let's go. Let's go. There are several paths that will take you down there. I decided to go a different path and there's no direct path without walking through the grass down there but there is a little memorial right here and it says in 1972 under the leadership of the congressman philip burton legislation was introduced and passed by the congress of the united states to establish the golden gate national recreation area this plaque is placed here in his honor by the citizens who assisted in achieving the legislation's people for the golden gate national recreation area and his statue sits right there and i totally missed it during statue week so I'm going to make my way this way to get down that direction. Now again, this is a beautiful area. Marina Green is right there. If you look towards where the northern span of the Golden Gate Bridge, Marina Green is that direction. If I pan out towards the right, you're going to hit like Fisherman's Wharf Aquatic Park towards that direction. The trees that you see all right there, that's the Presidio. And as I pan back that direction, you can see the tip of Sutro Towers. You can see Pacific Heights all up in there. But we're headed down that way and I'm walking down this way. Before heading towards the Philip Burton statue, I saw this in the distance. I have a girl with four eyes, two different color hands on her shoulders. Looks like different color skin on her face as well. And a lady, could be a nun, could not be a nun. I just thought it was pretty cool, so I thought I'd share with you guys. Those are tile work right there as well. All this, this tiles. And there's no name on what the statue is, so pretty cool. From the side view, it almost looks like a rocket or a spaceship. And again, nothing saying what it is, back or front. But again, good enough to share with you guys. I'm gonna head down there to the Philip Burton statue. Philip Burton, United States Representative, California, serving from 1964 till his death in 1983, Democrat, also one of the first congressmen to acknowledge the need for AIDS research and introduce the AIDS bill. His brother, California State Senator Congressman John Burton, also worked as a lawyer here in San Francisco. They have a high school named after him, him and his wife, and I believe the name is Philip and Sala Burton. That's a pretty massive statue. Pretty cool. Right there with my shadow looming in the back shows you the person who sculpted it, Wendy M. Ross, who sculpted the nice statue of the congressman. And look how tall he is. I'm looking down, standing right below him. This is a nice statue. 
at you. And again, you got idiots who decide, let's vandalize the statue, not knowing the history of Phil Burton and how important he is to San Francisco. But check that out. His pocket. What does it say? The only way to deal with explorers is that what it says not really sure i can't read it it's too high up but his hand way up there i can't even reach it to give him a high five but this is pretty cool california congressman phil burton i'm really delighted to be here and all of you are inordinately fortunate uh, jerry litton uh, not only serves his constituency in this state, but our nation with dignity and integrity and intelligence. But I suspect of equal importance, he's made the most successful effort to bring Washington and some of us involved in the decision-making process as close to his constituents as could be and make us available to you for whatever questions you may ask of us and I'm here for that purpose. Thank you very much. I think we will have to continue to make an effort to open up our processes so they can be more readily perceived by the American people. And I think we have to enormously strengthen our in-house capability uh, by use of uh, uh, computers and data retrieval systems and staff and expertise to give us a fighting chance to deal with the army that the executive branch has uh, when we contest on the wisdom or lack of wisdom of a proposal. Somewhat into, responsive, into a responsive arena, the Internal Revenue Service wouldn't have had a prayer in the climate of the past. Wilbur Mills, a fine person, would have said, uh, I'm sorry, our committee will work on that. You're not on the committee, and these ideas will be processed by the committee that has jurisdiction. This is a new day where we hope, and we've demonstrated... That's just some quick sound bites that I found of the congressman I thought I'd share with you guys so that way you can put a voice behind the statue. But this is something I definitely missed during Statue Week. You can see how tall he is. It's at least it's at least an eight foot tall statue. But this man is an important man, part of San Francisco history. Congressman here in San Francisco till his death in 1983. Died April 10th, 1983 at the age of 56 because of a ruptured aneurysm. He's buried up in the Presidio National Cemetery up in there somewhere. But again, his wife, Sala Burton, decided to finish what he started. And when they move, the Philip Burton School from where it was to where it is now, they named it Philip and Sella Burton, in honor of both of them. I think that's pretty cool. Important piece of San Francisco history. Pretty cool. One thing I always hate when I come to places like this is when you see people who does decide to graffiti or put names and and you can see the hard work that the Golden Gate National Recreation Center, you see that area where it's kind of like light probably try to use something to remove these idiots' as graffiti and I'm calling them idiots because again they don't know the history this man had they don't know the hardship Miss Wendy Ross put in to make this statue to make a statue of a man that is important in San Francisco and for them to come here to do that know your history know the reason why this statue is here it's not a reason this man was not a reason for you guys to graffiti all over him it's annoying. Really annoying. Alright guys, that's going to do a quick short adventure today. Again, this is a statue that I missed during Statue Week. Right there. Look how tall he is compared to me. And I'm just standing I'm standing on the low end of where he is. But Philip Burton statue here in the Marina District. Not that far from the Marina Green. Marina Safeway is just over my shoulder. Right over there. Again, nice cool statue. When you come here, pay your respects. Pay Visit. No don't graffiti don't do any of that 
And, you know, I apologize if I'm calling you guys idiots, but that's what you are for putting stuff like that. You guys are defacing something someone worked really hard on, whether it's in the artwork, whether it's something like this, and you're going to just sit here and you're going to do something like that. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. There's these kids on a tree right behind me over here that's making loud noise. I thought I got that. I thought I thought that was over at Disneyland. What are you guys doing here? Did you follow me? All right, guys, quick, short adventure. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have it. I did say I put out a vlog every day, exception to yesterday. Wasn't feeling right in the head, so went home, slept, enjoyed the time that I had sleeping. Here, from the Philip Burton statue, where'd he go? Right behind me right there, here in the Marina District. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlog's ended. Go in peace. Look at that view. Look at that shot. Philip Burton and the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. Cleared up just enough for me to get this shot. Thank you, Mother Nature. Thank you. It almost looks like he's saying, check out that view of the Golden Gate Bridge. Check it out. this.